Welding is an important trade, and a good welder needs to perfect their craft. My name is Chris Henziak. I'm a welding instructor here at Hennepin Technical College. Too often, I come across really poor welds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way to weld and some of the most common mistakes that I see. Let's begin with a good weld. Contact tip to work distance is about quarter to three eighths of an inch. I'm actually watching on the back side of the puddle because this is a pull technique, but I want to make sure the wire is contacting the puddle at the very front end. And I'm concentrating on what the puddle is doing and where the weld is actually being made. The contact tip to work distance in this weld is an inch or greater. And if you notice, I'm going really slow because I just don't have any voltage and I really don't have any amperage because I've taken everything out by having that extended contact tip to work distance. The angles are all about the same, but if you notice the bead profile is a lot smaller, a lot ropier looking, a lot narrower, and it's barely got enough energy in there to be able to make everything melt. You're also gonna see uh, pieces of it, you can actually see it's starting to form a little bit of porosity because you're losing your gas shielding because you're up so high off of that part, the gas is able to be blown or sucked away. In this weld, I'm going at a really high rate of speed. I'm traveling way too fast. Contact tip to work is way too long. This is the most common mistake we see from an entry level welder. Everybody wants to travel like they're on fire. And you just need to slow down and relax and get the contact tip to work dialed in and you'll be in good shape. In the end, if the puddle is too wide, you need to speed up. If the puddle's too narrow, you need to slow down. Let the puddle do the talking. 